This is a new Calibrate line spooling station with line counter from Cash King. The really good thing about this product is that I can use it by myself. Whether I'm in the boat, in the garage, getting ready to go fishing, or fishing by myself, I can use this product by myself to put new line on my rods and reels. Hey, Cliff Crochet, Team Cash King coming to you from Venice, Louisiana, world famous Louisiana Delta, and we're here chasing bass, chasing redfish, testing some new products. One of them is a new reel that we'll tell you about here in a minute. And we got to put some line on this reel to test it, which brings us to the latest and greatest. Here's a few key features about this product that I really like. So looking at the features of the Calibrate, the first feature is, is that it fits on any rods, casting rods or spinning rods and different size rods from, uh, from really big catfishing rods to uh, medium size rods, your spinning rods, your casting rods, or to little bitty ice fishing rods. You can uh, use it on any rod, you set it up, you snug it down on a rod, and you're ready to go. The next important feature on a Calibrate is that I can use it on casting rods or spinning rods. That way I can put my line on correctly, eliminating line twists, and getting the best performance out of my equipment. I'm gonna do that by just turning this knob, and that, that goes from using it on a casting rod to a spinning rod, just one quick turn, and you're going from casting to spinning rod, putting your line on correctly, getting the most out of your line, getting the most out of your rod and reels. Another key feature about the Calibrate is a line counter. The line counter is really important for a couple different reasons. The first reason is, once you find out how much line you want on your favorite reel and where it performs the best, every time you re-spool that reel, you can put the exact same amount of line so you're getting good cast, getting far cast, and you're getting great performance out of your reel. Another good thing about a line counter is that you can be really efficient with the line you buy. So if you buy a 300 yard spool of line, you can put exactly 100 yards on three different reels. Or you know how much you got left on that main spool. So you can be really efficient when you spend money on quality line. You can make sure you use all that line and you're not wasting it. So that's just a few good things that I like about having a line counter on the Calibrate. So I've told you about the Calibrate, showed you all the key features. And, and what I like about it, what I'm gonna do now is show you how it works. I'll tell you about this new reel we got that we're testing out. And uh, to save time, we put some backing on it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up with some 65 pound braid and, uh, and we'll get to fishing. All right, so now we're starting the process of putting the, uh, the line on the reel. But before we put the spooler line on the calibrate, we gotta set up the line boss. And what you wanna do, real simple, just turn that line boss over on the white side, and then you wanna take your, your line and feel it through that little grommet. So you want the line going through there, and then what you wanna do is take the line boss and set it on the spool, like so. Get your line nice and straight. All right, this is really important. The line boss is really important because this is gonna control the tension on your spool, how tight you want it or how loose you want it. You want just the right amount of tension when you're filling your reel with line, that, because you want that line to go in your reel nice and smooth, nice and tight, so that way when you start casting, you don't get a backlash, you get a good long forecast, the line is evenly spread on your reel, and uh, your reel's ready to perform at its top level. Okay, so now we wanna put the calibrate on our rod so we can get the spool on our reel up. You wanna put the calibrate about four to six inches on top of the first line guide with the line counter facing towards you. Zeroed, you wanna snug it down just enough so that uh, when you put pressure on it, as you start filling your reel, it stays in that nice position right there. All right, so now we're at, at a really important part of, of spooling, our, uh, spooling our reel, and that is to select the type of reel that we're spooling up to make sure it goes on properly. So you got casting or spinning. We're dealing with a casting reel today, so you just wanna pull that down, rotate it, and put it in the position for a casting reel. So now we want to add the uh, spool of line to the calibrate. And one thing you want to make sure of is that the line's coming off properly. You want it coming off, off of the top of the spool so we can lay it through the line counter onto the reel. You want to put the, uh, the spool shaft here and you want to slide it through this area right here. One thing to know about this shaft, you'll notice that how the one side of it is flat, the other side is, uh, has ridges on it. And that's just so you can put it in there and turn it. This shaft is not going to provide attention to the spool 
when you're putting line on your reel, the line boss is going to provide the tension to make sure the spool is tight as you're putting line on your reel. So now what we want to do is put our line through the line counter. And you do that just by taking, taking your line, putting it right through the line counter. And what you want to do is take the end of your line, put it through your first stripping guide, like so. Pull it nice and snug. You want to activate this arm, put it in arm position. And now we're ready to bring the line to our reel and start spooling it. So now I've attached my braid to my filler. I got the calibrate set on my rod. First thing I want to do is zero the line counter. And what I want to do is just reel nice and slow and steady, taking the reel, taking the line off of the spool properly, coming off the top on my reel. I want to just reel it nice and slow and steady. If I need more tension or less tension, I'm going to get that from the line boss. What you want to do is just reel nice and slow and steady until you get the perfect amount of line on your rod. Once you got the perfect amount of line on your rod, what you want to do is keep track on the line counter, write down what you got right there. You want to see how much line you got left on your bulk spool, keep track of that. All right, so we just finished up showing you how to use the calibrate on a casting rod. I want to show you how easy it is to set up on a spinning rod. You want to do the same thing. You want to attach it to your rod four to six inches above the first stripping guide with the line counter facing you. And here's the biggest difference that you want to do is you want to take it from the casting position. You want to pull that spindle down, turn it. And now you got it in a spinning position. So the most important thing about putting line on a spinning rod is that the line is coming off the spool in the correct direction. So you want this line coming off the spool on the left hand side and you want the spool turning in a clockwise manner. From this point what you want to do is take your line, put it through the line counter like so. You want to pass that line through your guide, bring it to your reel. We're going to attach it to our reel, to our backing. We're going to clear the line counter. We're going to activate the line counter. And now we're ready to spool our reel. So that's a look at the calibrate from Cash King, the line spooling station for casting all spinning rods that you can use by yourself on the water at home to help you put the right amount of line with the right tension on your rods and reels. That way your equipment performs at its best. Check it out, the Calibrate from Cash King. I'm Cliff Crochet. I'm going fishing. Life is good.